If you like the video, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Random Dial Audio Sting. <laughs> Opening wide shot of Brad. Camera does a slow push in. Cut to insert shots of photos of Brad and wife Jennifer for exposition. First close up shot of Brad establishes focus for the scene and establishes my importance. Cut to a medium shot, this time with the camera at waist height as a new character enters. The camera tilts up slowly, revealing a tight shot of Jennifer, who doesn't look happy. Cut back to Brad's medium shot. Cut back to Jennifer, still angry, lifting an object just out of frame. Back to Brad, looking worried to build tension. Insert shot! Tight shot of Brad! Tight shot of Jennifer! Medium shot. Camera pans with Brad as I walk towards Jennifer and take a knee. Cut to high angle shot of Brad to show submission. And low shot to show dominance. Cut back to Brad. Two shot as Brad stands up. Brad turns into a close-up. Reverse shot of Jennifer. Oh, back to Brad. Cut to other woman outside of window. Cut back to Brad. Cut back to Brad. Cut to black. Medium close shot of host introducing and reintroducing standard branding for their YouTube channel display host lower third along with their Twitter handle to show relevance even though no one ever tweets the host push in in post for uncomfortable Manu had an idea to do a script that's a type that's called or type of skit we call an abstract and it's loosely based on an acting exercise where the actors um, use nonsense dialogue or the same dialogue and play around with different actions. So in this one, what we wanted to do is do the abstract where the actors actually say the sort of cutting, at, um, you know, what you might find in a detailed uh, director script um, or shooting script. So just to be clear, normally there's you know a script and the script has very little editing, uh, uh, direction, any of that kind of stuff. It's usually just the text and what's happening. As a director, who whatever director is attached to a project will decide how uh, he or she will want to shoot. Now in a shooting script, you can add that kind of information, but generally the main difference between the two is a shooting script, you, you finalize the script, you're gonna shoot it, and you need a common nomenclature, which are the scene numbers. What I like to add in a shooting script are details about the actions and certain things I'm looking for in a scene. The thing that is important to keep in mind, right, is if you think about a play versus a film, in a play, actors act and the only me mechanics that are going on are where they are. They're blocking on stage, what they're wearing, and the lighting, right? And maybe, you know, some special effects if that's there. But otherwise, they're, the actors are doing their thing. In film, we have how we film the actors, right? The type of shot, wide, tight, if we pan, zoom, and whatnot, but we also have an editing as well, right? So we also have montage. We still have to get the performance on camera. So it's really important, uh, and it's hard at times to, especially on independent films and small projects, to not get caught up in all the technicalities of what you're doing and get the performance. And that, that even happened here on this shoot, and I'm gonna talk about that. 
Uh, we knew going into this that part of this exercise for us meant that we were locked in to certain shots and, and an edit. That is, the actors were stating on camera what the shot was. Cut back to Brad. So we don't have room to cut around and do different things and sort of use the power of editing to sort of fix certain things or modify or create something different. We were locked in. So that was an experiment for us that forced us to work at getting the performance. One of the things that I do on my shooting scripts is I mark up what I'm looking for in the different shots or the different areas of the script. Here I wanted uh, James, his scene need was, as Brad, is that he needed to, uh, to gain worth as a man. Now we don't know that, we don't hear it in the dialogue, it's all displayed in, in his acting and in the actions that he's giving. So his actions were things like to brag, uh, to trumpet, you know, to his friend. And Courtney, as Jennifer, her scene need was to hold on to self-worth as a woman. So right off the bat, with those two different scene needs, you can kind of see a little bit of conflict. He's trying to gain, she's trying to hold on, and it kind of makes them codependent. Now, these scene needs and the stuff I'm talking about in actions, I'm working on a directing actors uh, a video segment that will go into a lot more detail. Basically, a lot of this is what I was trained in uh, for years in New York City with um, the amazing Lenore de Coven. Uh, and she's an actor and director. Uh, she was directing stuff back uh, when almost no women were back in the 60s and 70s and on from there. And so she had done a lot of different things and worked out you know, ways to work with actors. Because here's the thing, actors aren't marionette puppets. We're not controlling everything they're doing. They're like any other talent on set. I don't tell a cinematographer how to light. I tell them the mood or what I'm looking for. So it's the same thing with an actor. I communicate certain things to them, which is, well, here's the point of the script for me. Here's, here's my perception of it and the point that I wanna make. And then I work with them, I look at what they do uh, as the character. And then I have a language to kind of work with them, which are these scene needs that drives them and these actions. Actors are making constant choices. That's what actors do when, they, when they're when they in that mode. They're, they're making choices moment to moment to moment. And that's uh, where I work with them at that point. Now, one example is when Courtney, uh, the low shot of Courtney, she's actually saying, uh, a low shot, cut to a low shot for dominance. Uh, so her action was to dominate or to control. And low shot to show dominance? But I realized it wasn't working and it wasn't what I wanted. And that's when I realized what to say to her was, oh, your action is uh, to resist, right? Because he's kneeling, that's what his action is, is to charm. So hers is to resist and that, and you get this back and forth. So as soon as I said that, it snapped and totally worked. And low shot to, to show dominance. So this is a, a way not to control what an actor does. You want them to be the character and surprise you and, and bring uh, something to the performance, but it's a way to tweak it and adjust it a little bit. Instead of saying you want an actor to be more angry, think of an actor um, steaming compared to an actor enraged. It was a very uh, fun experiment and interesting for us to, you know, see certain things and what we need to do. And you know, it, it doesn't matter how long you've been doing stuff, there's always something new to learn. Every project is a whole new set of problems and a whole new set of things to learn. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to check out pullmyfocus.tv for the companion articles with our videos. And if you find what we're doing helpful and informative, consider backing us on Patreon. With a small monthly pledge, you're investing in our ability to continue to bring you more inside tips on how to make great video. Thanks. Cut to other women outside of window. 
cut to other women outside of window. Ugh. Okay.